What's up everyone? Welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian and today we have a big request, yoga for the feet. This is an awesome practice for anyone and everyone, not just those who are dealing with things uh, that are healing in the feet. So get into something comfy, grab a blanket or a towel or two, and let's get started. All right, let's start standing today and just take a moment, might as well, to come into mountain pose. Just stand up nice and tall and take a deep breath in and then let out a big exhale. Deep breath in and big breath out. And one more just to kind of come into your body. Big breath in and settle in with a big exhale or settle down. So we're gonna take this time for ourselves to tend to the feet. The feet are obviously um, super important um, in all of our standing postures, but I was joking earlier saying that this video is really great for anyone who has feet because we are on our feet a lot and um, you know this is the foundation for a lot of things, right? And, uh, we rarely take the time to give proper TLC to our feet, so problems can occur. But a lot of problems um, can be saved, healed, you know, um, transformed through this type of body work. So if you're one of those people that's dealing with something painful in the feet right now, move slowly, mindfully, and um, I'm, I have your back, have faith, right? But this is really great for everyone. So we're gonna start uh, standing, and just take a second to look down at your feet and just send some love there. So I have some friends, some really good friends, some best friends of mine even, who do not like their feet. They have a really bad relationship with their feet. So just take your awareness down and start to lift the toes. Feet are about hip width apart, just for stability here. And we're just lifting the toes and starting to wake up the muscles. And there are a lot of judgment that comes, I think, with the feet, right? Especially as we get older. Um, so can you please, uh, we'll all work together, me too, you know, I'm putting my feet on the internet. Can we please uh, just cancel clear that and, and move that silly business aside and start to send some love down to your feet. Okay, after you've just kind of lifted the toes a little bit, you might rock front to back a little. We're going to come to loop the shoulders and stand up nice and tall. And we're not going to collapse into the hip here, so we're going to keep a little lift up through that center channel, mine as well. Hands are going to come to the waistline just for a little extra stability. And we're going to start with the right foot, just really moving nice and slow circles on the ball of the foot. Ooh, so you might have heard my right foot's always already making a little noise. Now, one big thing is you don't want to take your ankle really far out. I can't even do that. I don't even have that flexibility, but some people do. And so try to keep the ankle stacked right over rather than really veering out. And then reverse the circle if you haven't already. If we, you want to add a little style points to this, you can have some fun. And then release that right heel down and switch. Again, avoid trying to collapse into the right hip here. So keep it lifted up through the heart, that awareness, that lovely awareness that our yoga practice brings to the, to the body and to the mind. Moving with the left foot. Your feet are probably gonna get tired in this practice, just like the other body parts and muscles get tired during you know practice, your vinyasa and stuff. So just try to stay focused on the breath, keep your awareness on the sensations, and just do your best. Just here to explore the space, kind of tend to the body. Great, and after you've done that both ways, we'll go ahead and release the left heel down. Take a deep breath in, and a long breath out. Awesome, now shift your weight to the left foot. Again, not to collapse here, so think tree pose here. So you wouldn't wanna collapse all the way in here and lift that foot, you'd wanna stay lifted through the center channel. And now we're gonna come on to the toes, and these are gonna be smaller circles, so just onto the toes. Finding a little malleability. If you have an achy toe or a bunion, you might need to make adjustments here. But again, lots of love, right? You're not alone. These things happen. And that's why we're tending to the feet. So awesome work. You should totally appreciate yourself for doing this video. Your feet are going to be so happy. And remember, it's all connected, right? So start to tend to the feet. 
other magical things might start to happen in the body. Hey yo, switch to the left. <laughs> I haven't done one of those in a while. Moving the feet. Notice if you're holding your breath here. Mm -mm, that doesn't feel good, so breathe deep. Moving in one direction and then the other. Hmm. And then releasing the left heel down. Awesome. So now we're going to stretch the top of the foot. So go ahead and shift your weight into, uh, I'm gonna start with the left foot this time. So shift your weight into your right foot and keep this awareness through the plumb line, the center. I'm just gonna softly bend through this, the right knee, the standing leg, and then take the left toes back. And then you can take them back a little more and bend the knee if you want a little more. Maybe you even take it to um, a shape like this, but I encourage you to keep this energy up and not put too much pressure. So you just want a gentle stretch, right? Not a big crank. So even though we're kind of more specifically working on the feet today, can we take what we know about find what feels good yoga and, and, and apply that here? So finding a little smile or inner smile, deep breaths, finding a little ease, right, with the effort. All right, let's switch. Left foot comes back. Ooh, yeah, great blood flow there. And then right toes go back. And each side will be a little different, of course. And here, I should have said this on the, on the left side, but you're probably already doing it intuitively. You really want to try to press into all the toes. So pinky toe also reaching down. Great, take one more breath here. And then release right heel, come back to your mountain. So this time we're gonna bring the feet together, really together, arch to arch, and zip up through. We have an awesome silent yoga video um, for samastitihi, four parts equal standing. That's a great yoga for the feet video and it's really cute, it's really nice. You might wanna try that as a supplement to this one. So we're gonna bring the feet together as if it were one big post. And we're gonna spread awareness through all four corners of the feet. So the big toe mound, the pinky toe mound, and then the inner heel and the outer heel press down. And then we're gonna stand up nice and tall, draw the palms together at the heart, take a deep breath in, and exhale out. Deep breath in, and exhale out. Then release the toes to the ground if you haven't already, and just close your eyes and observe where you're carrying your weight here. So if it's kind of front, kind of back, kind of left to right, just take a couple breaths here to observe that. Continuing to draw energy up from the arches of the feet. Sweet, take one more big breath in here. Lots of love in. And then lots of love out, releasing the fingertips down and opening the eyes if they are not already open. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is with your blanket. So you can also use a stack of two towels, just get a little height, then we're gonna stretch the calves and the ankles here. So keep the heart lifted, right? You can never be too careful. It's always in those tiny little transitions where we're just not being mindful and you kind of you know, tweak something or fall. So this is great practice of just um, you know, maintaining that full body awareness, which is also gonna be really great for taking this sort of thing off the mat and into the everyday walk of life. Okay, here we go. Using the blanket as a little calf stretch here. You've probably done this before, especially if you're a runner or walker or a jogger or an athlete. We're just gonna start with the right foot coming on. Go ahead and spread the toes though, like really crazy spread of yogi toes. And come on, really pressing through the ball of that right foot and then to the left. And if this isn't enough for you, you can, um, Add more blankets or more towels. Okay, so we're breathing here. Might even walk it up a little more. Oh yeah. Come to daddy. Just kidding. <laughs> Lengthen the tailbone down and then see if you can lift your heart. So you come into a little power pose here. This is a big stretch for me. Who'd have thought? Whew. So energetically lift up through the fronts of the legs here. Try to lift your kneecaps a little bit. Careful not to lock out, especially if you tend to hyperextend. So soft little bend and lift, and kind of toning the quads, engaging the quads. Whew, then can you breathe deep here? Holy moly. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Looks like nothing. 
but it's something. Am I right? Okay, a couple more breaths here. If you're just kind of collapsing here, very unstable in the joints, so really engage. Hug that muscle to bone and keep lifting up through your heart, through the crown. Take one more big breath in here. And then nice and easy, we'll soften, bend at the knees, bend at the waist, take it to a forward fold. Gently step up off your blankie. And then from here, we're gonna walk the feet out wide and come into a little froggy pose. So go ahead and send your center down, your hips down, lift the heels. And open the chest. All right, so loop the shoulders and breathe deep here. So again, if you're working with a, a problem spot right now, that's just a spot that's in the process of transforming and healing. So come off of it when you need to. If you're here for everyday practice, let's um, breathe deep anyway and find a lift in the heart so we're not collapsed here. If you normally bring your heels down for this yogic squat, go ahead and lift them today. We're kind of coming into a froggy posture. Use your blanket or your stack of towels here for support, or if this is just much too much, you need a little support, you can swing that sucker around and bring it underneath the heels like so, right? So you have options. You can have a little support system in the front or support system in the back. <laughs> anyway, okay. <clears throat> so we're staying here breathing and maintaining, even though, again, this video is focused on the feet, we're maintaining this awareness all the way up through the crown because that's part of it, is making sure that we have this uh, connect, this lift, so that we're not just collapsing, stomping around, right? But that we can have a lighter touch, as they say. A um, Couple more breaths here. If you're wanting a little bit more in this froggy pose or this froggy practice, you can, um, Shift your froggy gently left to right. So really mindful in the knees here. Creaky floor, what's up? Um, moving one way and then the other. So right heel comes down, left heel comes down. I find that having the support here in the fingertips helps so that I'm not um, putting undue pressure on my knees. Big wake up call continues in the legs, in the hips. As we know, it's all connected. So it's so great for the body. Take a couple more rocks here, a couple more deep breaths. If you're centered, hmm. and then if you have the stack of towels or the blanket in front, go ahead and swing it around back. If it's not already. And then we'll just use the fingertips to come to a nice, comfortable seat. Awesome work. All right, so sit up on your blanket or your towel just so you can get a little uh, Lift through the heart a little easier. We're just gonna put the right foot in front of the left. So the left heel is gonna come in towards your center. Right foot is out here. And then take your hand, bring them together. Just create a little bit of good juju here, a little good vibes, a little bit of heat. <laughs> Naturally, I'm like, oh, a little massage here from my previous practice, I'm a little sore. And then we're gonna take the hands and we're gonna bring them to that right foot. So we're gonna lift the right foot up here. If you can't lift it up, you might use extra blankets or pillow even to lift the foot up to you. Maybe even a block underneath the foot. Um, and we're just gonna give the foot a little massage. Now, a little self massage goes a super long way. And I think I said in one of our really early yoga with Adrian videos, like we just don't touch ourselves enough. And uh, <laughs> it's kind of being silly, but it's kind of true, right? Um, if you don't have someone to massage your feet every night, I don't, uh, you should do it yourself or every morning. It really makes a big difference. And it's like acupuncture at home, right? So there's um, these energy meridians that end in your foot, right? Like the stomach, that's a big one, meridian, the gallbladder meridian. And so there's more than meets the eye here when you give a, your foot a little love, a little pressure. So just pressing the thumbs deeply into the foot. Don't forget your heel. And then maybe the top of the foot. And this will change your yoga game. I swear by it. 
And then we're gonna take the left fingers now, when you're satisfied, and we're just gonna put them between the toes. Now for some, this may be really weird. For others, you'll be like, oh yeah, I do that all the time when I watch Netflix. In which case, no, just kidding. Um, and then this kind of creates that yogi toe effect of really spreading through the toes. If this is super painful for you, you might just do two toes at a time, your peace fingers. Breathing deep, breathing deep, otherwise get on in there. And then brace your right leg with your right hand, just bringing it underneath here. It might even be a nice little opening for the hip and you're just gonna give it a little rock back and forth. Kind of pulling the toes out, be gentle. As always, our yoga practice is there, the skill set to remind you and allow you to practice being kind and gentle with yourself. So just keep that in mind. Great, and then we'll release that. Take that right foot down, right back in front, and then just gently walk the fingertips forward. Just a little release in the hip. If you can take it a little lower, you're welcome to go all the way down, but not a lot here, just a little release in that right hip. Take a deep breath in, and exhale, release and switch. Right heel's gonna come into the center, and the same thing on the other side. So starting with a little massage, pressing through your left foot. And if for some reason you're practicing this video on a day where you just, you totally need a little extra love, a little support, maybe you're feeling a little alone or hung out to dry, really enjoy this moment, you know, take a look down at your foot and realize that, ah, oh, this is a perfect physical manifestation of you taking care of yourself, you know, taking responsibility for your own happiness and appreciating your body. Make sure you're breathing. And so a little foot massage, maybe with a little oil, a little lavender lotion or oil is really nice. If you can get your hands on it, not necessary though, but it's nice before bedtime. Maybe a little peppermint if you have tired feet. I keep a little peppermint Solve. Is it salve or solve? Tell me in the comments below. Um, in my living room, oh, I'm just giving myself a little foot massage <laughs> while I watch Netflix or a movie. TMI? Maybe. Okay. Now the right fingers coming into the left toes here. And my feet have definitely changed through the practice of um, yoga, and yours will too with regular practice. And as I said before, uh, don't sell yourself short, right? Anything can happen, but I've seen a lot of people uh, transform uh, their feet and issues in their feet and the fascia through this sort of attention to the feet and body work. So all is not loss. <clears throat> so taking this fist here, gently pulling front to back, nice and gentle. And then release. Great, little hip action here. Fingers to come to the mat and we spider fingers forward. Just a little release. Send the sitting bones back towards the earth. So really press back. If you wanna take it a little lower, you can. Maybe even to the forearms. Breathe deep here. And then roll it back up. All right, so now we're gonna gently move into a kneeling position. If your knees are super tight, you can use your towel or your blanket behind the knees here. Um, maybe at a lower fold. So you just test this out here, creating a little bit of space. And we're gonna come onto the tops of the feet to start. So I'll do it without the blanket so you can see, but I just wanna offer that up, especially since you have your padding right there. We're gonna draw the knees together, take the fleshy part of the calves aside, and then just come onto the tops of the feet here and see if you can really point your toes back and then do your best to try to really press down through that pinky toe and lift up through your heart. Breathe deep here, palms come to the tops of the thighs. Little Varasana, hero, hero variation. Draw the shoulder blades together, sit up nice and tall. So you could just be sitting here like, Cool, chill, what's up? Or really activate through the feet, please, pressing into all 10 toes best you can. Now see if you can also 
find this lift up through the pelvic floor. So again, we're not dumping all the way in, but really starting to create a full body experience, which is absolutely gonna help you in your yoga practice and in your daily life. One more breath here. It's definitely hard work. Looks like nothing, but man, my feet are doing a salsa dance right now. Mmm, salsa. That's great yoga for the feet. Okay, to transition, I'm gonna slowly come forward, keep pressing into the tops of the feet, come onto all fours. Then I'm gonna curl the toes under, keep the knees together best you can, walk the big toe mounds together, and then slow and steady. So I like going slow because then I can really kind of feel what's going on. It's kind of more fun that way too, as I send the hips back. Now if your feet are super tight, which when I first, you know, I even grew up dancing and stuff, and then when I first did work like this, I couldn't, I was, couldn't stay here longer than a breath. So you might just stay here on your paws right, for support. Or you might find that you can walk your palms back up, but I just wanna acknowledge that if you can't come here, you are not alone. You are not alone. I am here with you. Breathe. And this is a great uh, exploration here because when you're really dumping all your weight, it's more painful. So you want to find that lift. We call it Mula Bandha, that lift from the pelvic floor. So you're not just splattering your energy, but you're really harnessing it and finding this lift. Best you can here, same thing. Try to include the pinky toe. So if you have to take your hands <laughs> to incorporate the pinky toe and kind of curl it under, please do. A little self-adjustment is always awesome. Couple more breaths here again, you might be here. And if you're sweating bullets, again, you are not alone. Keep breathing. Hmm. Awesome, and then nice and slow, as slow as you went in, we're gonna come out. So sending the palms forward, coming onto the tops of the feet, and back to where you were. I'm gonna spend a little less time here this time, just a little counter. Press into all of your toes. So I was gonna say all 10 toes, but some people don't have all 10 toes, so just press into whatever toes you have there and find that lift up through the center channel. Close your eyes for this last big breath in. Awesome, and then exhale, release. Come forward, hands come to the mat. We have one downward dog in this practice. Walk the knees underneath the hips, press away from your yoga mat. Inhale in, look forward and smile. Then exhale, curl the toes under and see if you can really grow this pose from your feet, whatever that means to you. Just really take the awareness of your feet. Heels dropping back, them, heels dropping back, them stretching as you send the hips up high. Kind of a different experience. Really working this pose from the ground up. Now for a hot second here, imagine your hands are also your feet, which they are in some yoga poses, right? So press into all 10 fingerprints, Prince, claw into the ground. Take one more deep breath in here, you got this. Maybe bend the knees a little bit, melt your heart. And then slowly lower down. Great, take a child's pose here, why not? Knees together or knees wide, yogi's choice. All right, and then slowly press into the hands. And we're gonna end with a hero pose or a uh, Varasana. So go ahead and walk the knees back together and you can return back to the variation that we just had here. Um, sitting up nice and tall, breathing deep here. If you already know that the knees are just not, uh, they're, they're not happy in these postures, then I'm going to invite you to come to a cobbler's pose. Soles of the feet together, knees wide, still great opening in the hips of the legs and sit up nice and tall. You can bring back a little self massage or you can just stay here breathing, maybe take a forward fold. So that's the option. All right, so we're in this variation. We are working in cobbler's pose, or I'm gonna guide us through a little uh, deeper posture, um, stage by stage, right, step by step. So if you'd like to experiment with a thunderbolt pose or a varasana variation, we're gonna send the legs out long. Just take a hot second to relax the feet. They've been working really hard. Then begin to engage again by pressing into the heels. And nice and slow, I'm gonna lift the left knee up. 
And then I'm just gonna slowly use my right palm on the earth to, to stabilize. I'm gonna bring it back. Left toes are gonna point towards the back edge of the mat. Take the fleshy part of the calf aside. And then I just sit up nice and tall here. I might gently use my fingers to lift the knee a little, just tugging it back, protecting, creating more space there. Your body will tell you whether or not it, it feels good here. So if, if there's any question at all, don't do it, right? It's not worth it. It's uh, find what feels good, right? Not find what feels not good. So if it doesn't feel good, um, head to cobbler's pose. Breathing deep here. You might stay here. Breathing deep. Or you might slowly lift the right knee and use the left palm on the earth to come back here. Again, sending the right toes back. Walk the knees together. Sitting up on a block here is nice. We have a whole variation, uh, excuse me, whole foundations of yoga for this uh, posture. We'll breathe deep. So you have your towel, you have your blanket. You could come here. Oh yeah. So awesome, or you can fold it up behind the knees. To take it one stage further, so we have different stages, right? We stay present within each stage. And the moment you can't stay present with your breath in a stage, then you need to back off. Um, maybe tugging that right knee again to create a little space. So if the spine is rounding here, find lift in the front body. And then I'm gonna take my blanket here, right here for the spine actually. I'm gonna use my fingertips, pressing into all of the toes, just like we've been doing. I'm gonna slowly, slowly begin to come back, one elbow at a time, breathing deep here. If it feels like it's okay in the body, I might continue the journey down, all the way releasing onto the earth or onto my nice little bolster blanket here. Arms resting gently at your sides. So this is the final stage here. I don't expect everyone to um, go into this posture, but I wanna give different options. Big, big stretch. Hips, psoas, the legs, obviously pressing into all of the toes here, really trying to get that pinky toe down. We stay present. I'm gonna take a couple beautiful breaths here. Try to stay focused on your breath and present rather than checking out. Stay checked in. And to come out of the posture, Connect to your center first. Hug the lower ribs in. Find the support in the back body by engaging your core. Take the hands to the outer edges of your mat and snuggle the shoulder blades together. Use this as a little resistance here on your mat to press up into the elbows. And then slowly, mindfully use the hands to press back up. Great, to come out of the posture, I'm gonna walk the palms forward, press into the tops of the feet. This is super important. Keep the feet active always to protect the knees, and we come back up. Beautiful. From here, I'm gonna swing the legs to one side, come back to seated, and this is where we will all meet up, legs out long. And just feel, I can even see, just the blood rushing to my feet, so awesome. So nice, soften, maybe wiggle the toes. And then you know what pose is next, Shavasana. So if you're short on time, just lay back for a couple breaths, giving thanks for your body and for this practice. And you should be proud of yourself for um, taking the time to tend to it, as I like to say. If time allows, spend a little more time here, just relaxing and letting go, allowing the nutrients of your practice to settle in. I'm gonna use my blanket here, allowing the head to spill off. Oh, so nice. And then just give it a big breath in and a big breath out to relax the feet. And then travel up from your feet, doing a full body scan, just softening and letting go of any tension, any tightness. Life is good. 
All right, my sweet friends, if you're in Shavasana, you can stay there as long as possible, as long as humanly possible. Uh, bookmark this video, uh, favorite it so you can return to it easily. Uh, share it with your friends, your family. I think we can all benefit from more feet love, attention to the feet so that we can stay active and become more active in our daily lives so that we can be super happy and super healthy. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Questions and comments are always welcome below and we'll see you next week. Free yoga videos every Wednesday. Take good care. Namaste.